Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? <sighs> Let's talk about these shows. No guns, life. Uh, I am kind of curious to see what people, you know, are feeling about this show. I've seen quite a bit of, uh, you know, like different opinions when it comes down to how shows are supposed to be and how characters are supposed to be but this guy kind of breaks the mold of just you know the look anyway he doesn't look like your traditional character that uh, you would normally just see uh, every day you know and uh, you know, art style wise or just in anime in general, you don't usually see anything outside of just boy with interesting hair and oddly color eyes, you know. Or normal hair and normal colored eyes because they're just chilling. And maybe his transformation will come at a later date. Um, stuff like that that always, you know, kind of had me wondering where these inspirations come from so when i see something like a gunhead person who also bleeds and smokes and you know he's supposedly alive pretty much it felt weird that um that wasn't you know more people don't use this more people don't go around and you know make these oddly designed characters for you know cool purposes so I look forward to seeing what actually comes from all of this because at the end of the day uh, I feel like this show just really showcased you know what really could pop off in the background with uh, not only how strong of a unit you know Juzo is just by being who he is in the case of uh, a gun model um, he isn't supposed to be, you know, outranking all, you know, another one, seemingly, right? That, that wouldn't make sense if you just for some reason had these revolver models act differently or have some stronger than others, right? Like, why would you do that? Um, unless there was some weird reasoning as to why our guy we're watching is just different from everybody else in general, so... These are the types of things I'm like really looking forward to seeing at the end of the day because not only have they made these characters actually, you know, kind of conveying, like compelling and it makes me want to know more about them. Uh, I look forward to seeing where another season is going to go because this feels weird that the season finale, we're just going into some haunted house that seemingly we know nothing about that you know, might not have any correlations to, uh, to the, to the characters, but all of a sudden, it's going back to what, uh, the main character is supposed to be about, okay, um, he's supposed to take requests and protect these people and, you know, put them in before himself, stuff like that, and that's exactly what he's doing, again, you know, he's going right back to, hey, this is, this is how I do, and, you know, now it's feeling more, more or less back to where, uh, the show started with him just taking up random requests, and actually just helping in any way, shape, or form he can for people who need it, and hopefully this guy needs it, because what he's asking them to look up, or to fix, or to figure out, is pretty sketchy, and I would not want any part to be doing with it, um, not only does he want him to, you know, investigate some weird hauntings that supposedly are going on, but he wants him to now, uh, you know, fix the problem, <laughs> so... It's cool and all if you go in there and see if it's haunted, but if you want me to then stay around and fix it, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, buddy, I gotta go. I got things to do, and dying by a ghost with machine parts is not in my foretake to be dying, so, I don't know, that would just be me, I'd be running like a girly man, some ghosts actually exist in this world, but 
Regardless, oh, I could have been buying stuff here. I feel dumb. Uh, defense. There's no ammo. That's what I was looking for. But since there's no ammo, where can I set this? All right. Anyway, um, I love I love stories that seemingly are going to, you know, give us quite a bit of stuff to be looking into. Uh, in the grand scheme of, you know, how things are playing out, why are things happening uh, certain ways, and overall just what is going to transpire for the main company that's you know still trying to take over and um and whatchamacallit and try to uh they're trying to take over and they're still trying to you know spread the gospel that hey this is what you're supposed to be doing and if you aren't doing this you're you know you're Dang, you know, you're damning yourself and you're bringing everybody else uh, down with you because you're not following the extended protocol, which is interesting because with extensions, you seemingly come, become stronger. You know, you have all these parts that make you be able to do certain things differently. But at the same time, it's like, oh, you're also... Uh, the Harmony Kid can always take care of you, so, or not take care of you, he can always take over you, so imagine um, having at any given time someone being able to just control your body, and that being something that this organization is really looking into, like they gave it to the son of the organization, so they have full, complete, like, custody over that kid, and whatever happens to him, kind of. But at this point, you kind of just have to imagine, like, where and why uh, do they do they want this? this kid and this power to be able to take over people like that? So, I think we're going to find out relatively soon. Um, I have no ammo game. What do you want me to do with no ammo? Uh, but yeah, overall, I don't know where this show is going to end at the end of the day. Like I said, like, that's mainly my big uh like my big joy of this game is just not is knowing that hey it may not come to an end uh when i expect it and it, oh what the heck and it may uh it may have more stuff than i actually expect going on because not only is the other revolver unit pretty strong on its own with him actually being activated, though, is where you really get to see him shine and actually, uh, you know, show off how ridiculously powerful he is and what he's capable of. That's what actually brought my attention back to the fact that he also, our main character also, can be active. And the only time he's been active was pretty much on accident like he just ran out of smokes and stuff so he started to go berserk pretty much so there we go jeez why isn't this everywhere um i definitely want to know what you guys are feeling because this show has 100 percent like shocked my overall thought process uh of the point of like hey this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, I'm like, yeah, right, <laughs> they just, they just all pop off at once, uh, seeing that, wait, so now I can't drop this ammo box at the, oh, there we go, seeing that there's so many different, um, ways this show I feel like can go, it's only likely that a lot of people who are, you know, easily manipulated or, even just shown to be in a position where not many of them can you know they can't do much about uh stopping certain aspects of going on so regardless of whatever's happening in the world they're still like capable of stopping people from even hearing this information uh about it so it just goes to show you how much influence and power you know, certain corporations have and whatnot, and that they're even still probably going to get bigger uh, than they are right now. So, 
we'll, we'll see how all this uh, plays out at the end of the day. But to be fair, I feel like a lot of people already um, may have dropped this show. Or if they didn't drop it, they're probably on the cusp of dropping it. Um, it just doesn't it doesn't seem like a show that I hear a lot of people talking about, which was interesting uh, in the grand scheme of just what's going on in it how much stuff is going on and then to like not hear anybody talking about it, i was like oh okay well yeah then i'm dead <laughs> but with all that being said everybody i hope you have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be i will talk to you in the next one peace